Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White and Annie Dog coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we are in the book of Psalms and we are in Psalm 17 in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Psalm 17, a prayer of David. Now, hear the right or a just cause, O Lord. Attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips or deceitful lips. Let my sentence or vindication come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal or upright. Thou hast proved my heart, or tested it. Thou hast visited me in the night, or searched me out. Thou hast tried me, or tested me, and, and shalt find nothing, nothing evil. I am proposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips I have kept me. Thy lips I have kept me from the pass of the destroyer. Hold or uphold my steps, going in thy pass, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thy ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saveth by thy right hand, or delivers by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass or surround me about. They are enclosed or have closed up their fat hearts. They are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now come past us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down or crouching down to the earth as a lion that is greedy of his prey or eager to tear his prey and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, confront him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword or with thy sword from men which are with thy hand, oh, from men which are thy hand, or with thy hand, O oh Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hidden treasure. They are full of children, or satisfied with children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I am awake, when I awake with thy likeness. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. And as always, <laughs> I love you.